Everyone, it's Kanga here, and in this video, I'll be showing you all 17 NPC locations at the start of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 7. I'll quickly be showing you where you can find them on the map. So, for example, Abstract's gonna be here in Retail Row. And then I'll also show you what you can do. So, just as an example, Embassy number one is Abstract. He is found here at the top of Retail Row. And from him, you can get two different quests. You can buy the Marksman Six Shooter Exotic Weapon, and then you can also activate a Prop Disguise. Unfortunately, NPC number two is currently bugged, but when he is in the game, he should be found here on the map, and it's going to be one of the aliens. We don't know yet what he's actually going to do, but when he is added into the game, he will spawn here north of Coral Castle, and it will be the Tier 1 alien skin. NPC number three is Godjimon, and he can be found right at the top of the map at Lockheed's Lighthouse. He might be up there, he might be in the house here. And one thing you have to know about him is that he's going to be hostile towards you, as you can see that his instantly going to start shooting him. So you have to actually kill him before you can do anything with him. Before you can see what he's going to offer you and stuff like that. So once you kill him, he'll reappear as a hologram. And then from him you can get two different quests. You can buy the Nighthawk Exotic Pistol. And you can also tip the bus driver. NPC number 4 is Sunny and she can be found here at Believer Beach on the map on the pier. From her you can get two different quests. You can buy a pump shotgun and you can also tip the bus driver. NPC number 5 is Bunker Dronesy and he can be found here on the map, southwest of Misty Meadows. From him you can get two different quests, you can buy bandages and you can also activate a rift. NPC number 6 is Bush Ranger and he can be found here on the map, west of Risky Reels. From him you can get two different quests, you can buy bananas and you can also activate a prop disguise. NPC number 7 is Dreamflower and she can be found here on the map, northeast of Holly Head just at Flopper Ponds. From her, you can get two different quests, you can buy fish, you can tip the bus driver, and you can also heal. NPC number 8 is Joey, and he can be found here on the map in Dirty Docks. From him, you can get two different quests, you can buy an assault rifle, and you can also activate a prop disguise. NPC number 9 is Hayseed, and he can be found here on the map at Steel Farm, northeast of Corny Complex. From him, you can get two different quests, you can activate a prop disguise, and you can also heal. NPC number 10 is Marigold, and she can be found here on the map in the east side of Lazy Lake. From her, you can get two different quests, you can buy nuts and bolts, and you can also activate a mass supply drop. NPC number 11 is Maven, and she can be found here on the map at the satellite dish east of Craggy Cliffs. From her, you can get two different quests, you can buy pistols, you can buy the Shadow Tracker exotic weapon, and you can also reveal future storm circles. NPC number 12 is Rick, and he can be found here on the map at the satellite dish place east of Weeping Woods up on the hill here. And from him, you can get a quest, you can buy nuts and bolts, you can buy bandages, and you can also activate a rift. NPC number 13, you can see over there, is Riot, and he's going to spawn right here on the yellow steel bridge. Now, like Gojimon, he will normally attack you, so you can see when I get close to him here, he's just automatically going to be angry at me. You can see, you give it a second there, and he will start fighting you. So, just like Gojimon, before you can do anything with him, you will have to eliminate him, to so make sure that you don't just land on him. You have to actually get guns first before that, but then once you eliminate him, from him you can get two different quests, you can buy the exotic Storm Scout sniper rifle, and you can also trigger a mass supply drop which just brings down like 10 supply drops from this guy, and um, yeah that's right. NPC number 14 is Rook, and she can be found here on the map, at the satellite dish west of Dirty Docks, and from her you can get two different quests, you can buy snipers, you can buy shield mushrooms, and you can also activate a mass supply drop. NPC number 15 is Special Forces, you can be found here on the map, southeast of Caddy Corner at the Redacted Bunker, and from him you can get two different quests, you can buy a submachine gun, you can hire him as an NPC, and you can also duel him for a purple P90. NPC 16 is Swamp Stalker, and she can be found here on the map, southwest of Slurpy Swamp, and then from her, you can get two different quests. You can buy fish, you can buy nuts and bolts, and you can also buy wood. So again, that's just south of Slurpy Swamp at this house here, and that's what you can get from her. The final NPC, NPC 17, is Dr. Sloan. She can be found here on the map at Corny Complex. You've got to go to the main barn building. Then when you go under it, she's going to be down here. Now, she's actually a boss, so unlike Gajimon and Riot, they're hostile to you. So it's Dr. Sloan, but she's going to drop a mythic weapon when you kill her, and she also has special abilities like you see there. She can activate clones of herself to just come and distract you. Once you take out the real one, they'll all go away. And then normally she'll get knocked, she didn't just because I'm in Battle Lab. But then when you kill her, you get this Mythic Sloan's Pulse Rifle, you can't get quests from her or anything like the other NPCs. 
but as you can see here on the collection board she still does count as an NPC. That's gonna be it for this video if you guys have any more questions about any of the NPCs or anything else in Fortnite feel free to comment it down below and I'll do my best to get back to that. If you found this video useful at all make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share, all of those things help me out massively and if you want to support me as a creator that's gonna be code Kanga in the Fortnite item shop. Otherwise though that's it for me for now and I will see you all next time. See ya!